Okay, and what I did was I just went into that file folder and I opened uh, the Adobe document. Um, when you are in this document, it's not going to let you do a lot of things because it's going to ask you to like sign in if you try to hit edit or some other things. But I did find that if you go to, um, I think it's fill and sign. It looks like you can use the highlighter to highlight things. I just noticed, I just realized that. Um, so that would be an option. Um, the pen is just signing names, but if you go over here to the right and say fill and sign, it'll let you use a couple other tools. So one I could type, like let's say maybe she needs to crop photo. I can type that in and then put that like right above the photo she needs to crop. Uh, maybe she spelled someone's name wrong, so then I can use this little circle. Click on the circle, it'll pull it up and you can make it uh, larger and circle that name. Or maybe it's just the grade level. Um, and then the other thing you could do is like, I like to put check marks on the names that I've checked that are spelled right. So that could also be another option for you. Uh, but this is what I found best. Um, there's also an X, so maybe, you know, she put the grade level in there twice and you want to put an X over it. Um, or maybe you want to circle this because it looks like she hasn't put in um, the score yet. Uh, after you make all your edits, okay, so you would scroll down, of course, and go through all this. And I know that this page is not finished. I just wanted to use it as an example. And I know what I've circled and checked is not correct either. I'm just trying to show you how to use the program. After you've done all this, you're going to go up to File, Save As. You're going to save it into the folder you want to save it into. I'm fine with leaving it as Basketball Edits, but let's go ahead and add my initials to that. That way we know who has seen it. Um, and I'm not sure if a couple of you have the same initials, but if you want to just type your name also, that works. Okay, basketball edits, and I could say by Ellen, and then I'll hit save. Then now what I can do is go into my email and email this back to Sammy Price with my edits on there for her to make corrections. After she makes those corrections, she can do this process over again and save the PDF and then email it to whoever she needs to edit, um, whether it's a teacher or another student. Um, and you're kind of just going to have to go in back and forth with this page until you've got all your edits done. Uh, the other feature I thought might be good to do is maybe uh, do your initials and apply those as well to the page. I'm not exactly sure where that goes though, because I just tried that for the first time. Um, so I don't know. Oh, here it is. I have to click it. Okay. So it just lets you type it in and then you can maybe initial the top of the page for us so that we know you have checked the page for that student. Um, I would maybe keep a folder for all your pages. So maybe have one basketball folder if that's your page and then just keep all those edits saved into there. Um, there might be a point where we want to see those edits and you might have to share that folder with us. But for right now, that's I think the best practice for us to use for editing pages. All right, see you in class.